sitting here flat footed. Okay, your decisions weren't too bad, but you're here flat footed. Jacob's the only one being assertive in here, hands up, addressing it how it should be addressed, okay? That's why he had a clean set. Not saying that purely out of a disrespect to anyone, but when I was standing there, for, that's why I stepped out of it to see how your reactions are. Immediately you're here. You're letting players come in on you on your five yard box. It should be pushing up as high as you can. Try and nick a few yards. Don't be overconfident with it. Don't be too cocky, but be enough arrogant, be arrogant enough, shall I say, to be able to take a couple steps and rely on the footwork, rely on the things we've done in the warm up to get you about this box. Do not be happy with starting your position under your crossbar because I guarantee all people are going to do is just keep putting it on you. And it's a slog, okay? Be aggressive, tell your defenders to keep the line. Obviously, there's offsides. Just be aggressive with it, okay? If you're here and you think, oh, I'm out of my depth a bit, step back in and you tell your defenders to deal with it as it should be, as that cross comes in. But here, go through the gameplay as it should, okay? Uh, Rob jumping goal. Um, I'm 28 years old, I've got no answers, mate. Wait, they take this for the win! Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh. That is a foul if I've ever seen one, eh? That is a foul if I've ever seen one. Venom in that. Oh, surely not. There might be a compilation of bad ones at the end for me to just share with you guys. But no, just, just relax, just do normal things. Um, so, what I saw from last week, okay, last week was very much just feeling you guys out with crosses because not everyone is confident, okay? Not everyone making an example. Ryan is very big, very dominant. He's a confident coming for the ball, but he should be because he's plus six foot, okay? So, it was just really much feeling you out, seeing how you reacted to certain situations. One thing I did get from every keeper, including Ryan, was footwork to come to the meet the ball was a bit slow so everything tonight's going to be very quick on your feet for warm up's going to be a lot of speed a lot of explosive pace and a lot of fast twitch fire work okay 
So I'm just concentrating in the warm up about your feet and how fast they move across the ground and also your timing still get to get to that ball. So all we're going to do is start nice and easy. Uh, Jay and Keir, Rob and Lee pair off. So Rob and Lee, uh, Lee that side, Keir on that side. Okay, so for warm up, all we're going to do nice and easy explosive work. Just going to work for the cone into your post. Okay, so it's five on one side. It's nice and quick. So you start in the middle. It's a snap, bang, take a volley. Okay, yeah. One, snap, bang, take the volley. Yeah, that's it. Ten and change. Okay. Lee, good. 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 going to be server's going to count one, two or three, or shout one, two, three, should I say? One, two, three, yeah? All it is is nice and quick out if it's three, you dare touch your cone, you get back to line, get back to line, back to line, back to line. As you touch the line, it is a bounce up, a nice high bounce, and it's just come and meet it, yeah? Okay, so it's nice and tense, you're just getting your timing in, yeah? Start on the edge of the five yard box, not too high, not too, not too high, not too low, just a nice Rob Lee, nice enough just to get the person up off their feet, not looking for too much effort in this, just looking at your timing and your footwork, okay? So.
I'm going to have a look at your technique. Afterwards, I'm going to be stepping out, delivering the balls and looking at it from a distance, okay, but with a bit more pressure on a 2v1 situation, okay. Just see how you deal with it now. Different situations, different types of ball. Servers, I don't mind if you want to try and strike one, float one, whip one. Just try and keep that quality up, yeah. It's important the quality of the serves there, yeah. Okay, so uh, Rob, jump and golf me first. Keir, jump out wide, so up to you which way you want to work with the balls, okay? You can start at the end or you can start in the corner flag. Yes, so that's where they're being taken from. Okay. Last one each, last one each, from the corner. Set. Good, come in it, come in it, come in it. And good, we're done. Two attackers, one defender. Okay, yeah? Okay, so it's just a bit more of an added pressure now because you're outnumbered. This situation is highly unlikely to happen within the game. You will never really be two on one. But I'm just seeing that added bit of pressure now with a delivery that's a lot more direct, how you're dealing with that pressure. You've got one defender. So it's up to you what you want to do with that defender, okay? Attackers just move freely, okay? I'm just going to be delivering eight on iron balls from one side, eight and nine from the other side, from different angles, okay? If you're coming, you're coming. If you're staying, defender, whoever it may be, is dealing with it, cool? Okay, so... Um, It was last week, um, just let the boys freely do what they please. So um, I noticed confidence of, with especially this age group is big for coming with crosses either. One, players are physically bigger so they stay, tend to stay, but also confidence is to do with the age they're at, they're physically developing, mentally as well as physically. Um, so the reason this session or this activity was put on was to build their confidence and just understand if they're going to come or it's going to stay. It's about making that decision early, um, just trying to encourage them to come for the ball because the minute you make that mindset of negativity, um, you do naturally just stay put. So it was more just focusing on a confidence builder, technique, um, looking at who wanted to come for the ball and who doesn't. Um, I mean, we're running this for four or five weeks, so this is only week two. Um, so I'm just really understanding the players at the minute to see who's got the bravery within them to, to come from the ball. But now moving it on to a bit more of a direct set piece, so it's going to see how they act under pressure with strikers and attackers now.